Hi, today we will see like different file formats in FemFet which are used in FemFet or which are generated during the analysis when the results file also. So first is the like the .bdf file or any other input file. So that contains our FE information and in which we just input it our in FE entities. So it will identify this nodes, elements, sports, etc. Uh, so we will check once now what is CID file in FemFet. So it is check input data file. So if you go on and hit, hit like check input data, you will have like the input data, what is there and how many number of nodes are there in your model and how many number of nodes material has been assigned. And if there are different materials, it will show up here. And the options you have chosen, the max stress, the min stress, everything will be there. So if by chance if you have closed the FemFet, you can don't worry like uh, this file will now be generated. You can go here and there will be .cid file. So you can go here and see this data even after when you have closed the FemFet. So this is that CID file. Next is the .csv file. So .csv file is generally used in channel max. We will see in the later videos. So how to use the channel max but for the time being like uh, uh, if there are different loads loads versus time conditions or different loading conditions or uh, stress time history you can go here in channel max and uh, in channels you can define that then is the dot dma file dot dma file as we have already discussed is the output file for the post processor for different post processor so we can even choose uh, what we want in our DMA output and we can have in the hyper hypermess results or Nastron OP2 results anyway. Uh, like in pattern we can open the .dma file or in ANSYS or in any other post processor. You can do it. Uh, so it is a basically it is a third party uh, FemFet results we want to see in third party post processor we can see it. Then .dbs is like uh, dot dbs is like we are not discussing it here it is related to weld so we will see it in some other video or weld in the next upcoming videos dot esp file is again related to spot so we will not be seeing it we will not be discussing in current video and then dot ine file is again very important file like uh, if you want to go here uh, if you want to change your settings femfet input settings like uh, you want to change your memory settings in FemFet, we will use the .ini file. Uh, basically, if you want to go on here and uh, edit the number of maximum number of nodes, maximum number of elements, there is some limit to it. So if you want to change it, you can change this uh, it while at the starting. And also you can use the default uh, if 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 major if majority of the times you are using with abacus you can choose abacus and pass also you can decide your material database path other things next is the dot ffd file dot ffd file is nothing nothing but a material database file so you can just go on here in material database and you can uh, just create your data of material sorry uh, just create some data and go on and uh, then you can export this data and then it will be there in your directory as .ffd file and uh, that you can again go on and import it in your analysis or you can share with uh, your colleagues so this is the use of that .ffd file. Next is the .ffj file. So once if in any process like in whatever you are doing in FemFed GUI, it will be recorded as a TCL script. So you can just go on and uh, if you want to just go on and uh, save this session, you can just go on and click on this icon or this icon. This icon will save as this FemFed underscore one dot ffj or this will be saved as some other format if you want like uh, famfet uh, new dot ffj and once you open this file 
uh, you will have a lot of commands you will have all the commands whatever you have used it in femfet and you can again open a new femfet and you can just run it so it will again solve the same things so you can even edit this this we will see in some other video how to edit this but for the time being this is like uh, whatever goes on in the GUI will be recorded it in FFJ file if you want to save it then there is FMA which is like the material assignment file and then there is the FPS file FPS file is the permanent scratch file so permanent scratch file is nothing but this file which has the which will uh, go on as the results file so you can open if you want it you can open it in the uh, visualizer also so I'm just calling it visualizer and then I if you I want I can open the uh, visualizer dot uh, SPS file I can read the dot SPS file this is how to do it we will see it in some other video but for time being this is the use of dot SPS file very important file so I'll close this visualizer next is the dot FSS file which is like the FAMFET scratch file this is generally used in transmax channel max so this file is like the permanent is the temporary scratch file you can say and same is with the FTS file now dot log file log file is as the name suggests it is kind of the log for whatever you do in the FAMFET GUI so basically there are two types of log file here there is called dot log and dot parallel log so dot log will have some comments at what time you started and which menu you have give you are going it will be recorded as that but dot parallel log will not have any comments and it will have all the commands but it will not have any comments here so this is the difference between dot uh, parallel log and dot log here then dot max belongs to channel max and dot max t belongs to trans max we will see in some other video mp4 we will leave it dot message file is like uh, the message file for any output errors or any kind of warning message it throws it will be recorded in dot message file then there is uh, png it's an image format dot profile dot profile is nothing but like the your detailed analysis in text format so dot profile you can go on and uh, like after the analysis is done you can go on and check uh, whether uh, this analysis has went proper or not like whether proper options are selected or not so you can go on and check whether what is the stress multiplication factor used and what is the material database used and what will is the tensile compressive endurance limit and all you can check here what are the options used here everything will be recorded in dot profile and even your uh, stress data will be recorded for each and every node and your damage is also recorded so this is dot profile use not dot rm rfm file is also we don't use it regularly and dot wdaf file other things are related to strain so i'm not uh, covering in this video now no, dot wdf file if you have a seam weld data and you want to do the weld fatigue you can go on here and read the dot wdf file here from here so this also we will see in the some next upcoming videos so this is all about the files used in f uh, in fanfact and what are the files it generate i hope you find out this video helpful uh, you can go check out the playlist here of the fanfact so thank you have a great day bye